With a projected state budget shortfall as high as $25 billion, many previously funded programs in every agency are now in jeopardy. One of those hit hardest, the Department of Aging and Disability Services. With federal funding for services like Medicaid waiver programs running out this year, Texans with disabilities and their families fear the state will not be able to make up that gap. More than 13,000 people are at risk of losing more than $96 million. Much of that money used for services to keep them at home and in the community. All new at 5, KXAN political reporter Josh Hinkle takes us inside the lives of an Austin family these cuts could affect. This has put out the green trash can. Crossing off one chore after the other is how John Hart lives with autism and stays focused throughout his day. He can do it all. He just needs a little guidance. His family is able to afford someone to do just that thanks to a state community living program called CLASS. Basically, Andy works three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. $11 an hour for 15 to 20 hours a week. Oh, you get burger, John. Without that state funding, John's mother, Ann, worries what might happen. Our son's 25, and he can never, ever be left alone, ever. Ann stays at home with John each day, but can only do so much without the attendant, Andy. You got pulled? Even something so simple as making his bed with her help keeps John involved here. But many people without such services end up in a state institution, which often costs four times as much as this in-home care. And if he didn't have someone like me around, he would either be in a day program somewhere or sitting at home watching TV, not getting to go out and do the things that just make everyday life more interesting and better. Now John faces the very real possibility of losing a way to pay for Andy, as the state's budget crunch could cut this program and many others. Like right now, he if there's leaves on top of the... Uh, Post office boxes, he'll, he'll clean them off. Now his yeah, parents like plan to work with other families in the coming weeks to convince lawmakers to find the money to fill this funding gap. We just really wanted to be a normal family, is all we've ever wanted to be. Um, class helps us be closer to that. Thank you, John. In Northwest Austin, Josh Hinkle, KXAN, Austin News. The budget shortfall will no doubt be the biggest issue lawmakers face in the upcoming session. KXAN News will continue to look in depth into the proposed cuts, bringing you the stories of the Texans who will be affected. To track these cuts yourself, we have a link in this story on the homepage at the On Politics website, our sister website, onpolitics.com.